Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Chubbs Reviews where I bring you a review every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And today we're talking about Fall Guys, Fall Out Guys, Fall Fall Boy Guys, Ultimate Knockout Edition or some shit like that. It's the new trend of the world. We all know about it. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard about it. But first, I just want to give you guys a little insight to some future videos. I always forget to do this. Uh, uh, some open like games I'm actually looking forward to getting that are coming out on release I think I'm actually gonna spend the money and get the Marvel's Avengers game when it comes out and let you guys know how that is if it's a hit or a miss it's basically a gamble to get it because critics kind of like it or not like it critics kind of hate it and say it looks bad but whenever I look at stuff about it it doesn't look half bad kind of looks kind of fun it's gonna be grindy it's a live service but I haven't really gotten into that in a while it reminds me of my Warframe days so yeah, looking forward to that. And of course, I'm going to get Cyberpunk when that comes out. Um, I'm currently playing Shadow of Mordor. That's something that's going to get reviewed sooner or later. Uh, maybe some Batman games. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want me to review uh, down below. <clears throat> but those are some things that are for sure coming that I just mentioned. Anyway, today we're talking about Fallout Guys. Yes, you will call it that name a million times when you play this game. But it is called Fall Guys. And it is a little game show battle rail. It's like Battle Rail and Mario Party had a baby in which there are 60 lobby 60 lobby 60 people in a lobby uh players online you can you can get a party of up to four people which they need to expand on that that kind of sucks that it's only four people uh it has the main menu kind of like a Fortnite where all four people are standing on there um but yeah 60 people in a lobby and there's about there's different rounds you start in round one with 60 people and then you get a random challenge maybe it's a race Maybe it's a, a, a jumping thing where you like this thing spins around. You gotta jump. You know, Marty Party, Mario Party mini games basically. Uh, sometimes there's team games which everyone hates, but I don't know. I hate some of the team games and some of them I don't. Um, you know, there's there, there's where you have these tails and you there's basically three buttons in the game. You can jump, uh, you walk forward, which isn't really running. Uh, you can dive with square and you can press R two to. Uh, to grab or whatever your console is I, I play on ps4 uh, <laughs> but yeah so those are the buttons and you can use grabbing for like game modes where there's tails uh, like people have tails on them and it's kind of like uh, you know there's team tails which you know whoever has the most tails when the time runs out as a team wins or there's like one where it's just uh, if you have a tail when the time runs out you win um, there's grabbing like griefing pretty much like when people are running you can literally grab and hug them or grab and hold them back very kind of funny sometimes very dangerous very not cool um there are all types of game modes basically uh, with different crash courses like shit you would see on wipeout and then stuff you would see on mario party uh to even like a, a matching mini game like a matching game where you there's fruit on the floor or on the ground and you got to memorize where they are and um it's it's pretty fun but and the internet is hyping it up to hell everyone's playing it it, it is fun. It is fun is what everyone says, especially if you have PlayStation Plus right now. Definitely get it. It's free on PlayStation Plus. Get some friends together. Um, it's even 20 bucks. Would I spend 20 bucks for it? No. <laughs> but you might want to if you really see it and like it. And you can convince your friends to. That's the only way I would spend money on it is multiple people uh, that you know have the game. Um, but if you're on PlayStation Plus, it's free. I don't know if it's free anywhere else. But um, it's pretty fun. You play as these like little... I, I don't know what they are. They're like little figures and the the game is super consumer friendly and the fact that it's got cosmetics for days and uh the store is updating every day and you can there's two currencies in the game kudos and crowns crowns you can get by the battle pass the battle pass it's not really called even a battle pass but it is it's up to 40 levels and it's free it don't have to pay for it it's just given to you i wonder if it will stay like that that is really cool and in that you can get like four crowns you also get crowns for winning if you win you get a crown that is so cool and you get the other currency, kudos, for just playing the game. Uh, and also you get kudos in the battle pass. That's free. <laughs> and the experience is handed out pretty well. I'm I'm, I'm saying I'm already a pretty veteran player here. I'm going to flex to you guys. I'm, I'm thinking I'm like level 24 in the battle pass. I have like 11 wins. Yeah, I had the trophy for 7 wins and I got like 4 after that. Getting that trophy for 20 wins, I swear, it, by the time I'm done with the game. Uh, some of the flaws this game has, though, and I was just going to hit the one, is longevity. Uh, probably when I get my 20 wins, I'll probably quit playing the game. I don't know. Maybe if they add uh, a new battle pass. It is, I mean, I could hunt for cosmetics every single day, but at some point, like, the store doesn't have something I want, and I'm just stockpiling, or I'm not playing that day. Like, 
uh, the last two days the store really hasn't had something I wanted just because what I got I think is cool and also they've repeated a few things already sometimes uh, in the store um, but it is it is there it's cool super consumer friendly game no loot boxes uh, and and uh, even for a live service I hope they update the game with maps so longevity is a problem uh, they got to update the game with maps and skins and uh, game modes and maybe tweak some game modes that people are complaining about make some a little bit harder some are way too easy I think um, maybe just for me though I don't know so at this point of the game I'm always making it to the final round so I think the game overall is super easy at this point which might make it boring for me soon I don't know I'm worried about that another thing is is the maps and the game modes you get don't really feel randomized at times at least like for me I don't know if anyone else uh, is just like not talking about it but you get some of the same game modes over and over again in a day like back to back to back like I played tail tag team like seven times yesterday uh, just back to back to back it was just I don't know, uh, and you can also kind of guess what you're going to get depending on how many people are left in the game, like, uh, depending, it, you won't have, like, a high number of players hexagon match, or that, or you only will. If there's, like, five or less people, it'll be the tail game at the final round or the crown game where you race to get a crown. Uh, like, I don't know, just stuff like that, you can kind of guess on those. Um, there's already one glitch in the game that I've seen for one of the maps um, that didn't really even need to be a glitch, it's one of the easier maps uh the servers are atrocious it, for the last two days it's kind of been okay actually no no i wouldn't even say it's been okay because the first two days i tried to play this game the servers were literally down for everyone the servers were just down for like for like 15 hours like me and my friends were kind of like going through withdrawals because we just started playing the game and the servers fucking went down we were like wow we wanted to grind we wanted to play it uh but eventually they came back and they, they the servers have been strong now but people lag out now like every like the servers are online but me and my friends are constantly getting disconnected. Like, so there's that problem. And it's like, it's really a problem. Like, it takes a whole point from my score of this game down. It's so much of a problem. Uh, it is something that couldn't be fixed. I mean, the developers didn't know this game was going to blow up. Um, this game, honestly, has Fortnite level of potential. Uh, not competitively, just like a casual game. And I say that, that it can do anything. It can add any type of game mode, anything to this game. It's such a, you know, weird, wacky world. You know, Fortnite has fucking co vehicle cars now where you play Post Malone music. And this game can have that. This game can have whatever it wants in the end if it actually gets people to pay for it. I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know how this game is making money right now being free. Uh, they don't really force you to pay cosmetics. So that's, like I said, super consumer friendly. Uh, I also heard the Twitter for this game is hilarious. Actually, go follow their Twitter. Go check it out. They tweet out a lot of funny things. Uh, so shout out to that. But overall, I guess it is a fun game with your friends. I don't know how long Jody will be. I always thought the Darwin Project, you guys remember that game at all? I had a lot of, like, I kind of feel like that game with this game, it's kind of the same thing. But the Darwin Project got shut down, or is getting shut down. I think it got shut down at the beginning of this year. I forgot. <laughs> um, or that it was it's at the end of this year. Anyway, um, this game, you know, it, it could just die off in, like, two weeks. Who knows? Um, but I do, it, I do recommend playing it right now while it's fun. Uh, especially with everyone populating the servers and all that. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know how many wins you guys got. I think the cosmetics are fun. The gameplay is fun. But it's just a little party game. And uh, yeah, but party game of the year, you know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.